yells, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to Your Music Live. Let's kick us off with Waves by Cabin. If that hasn't woken you up, then uh, nothing will. That was Cabin with Waves, our first track here on Your Music Live for this week. Hey, how you doing? I hope you're well. Uh, by the way, the, the video is really blurry. Oh, maybe it might be the stream coming through. Hello. Yes, nice chill track. Uh, nice feel to the track. I know it's a feel-good tropical summer vibe that I thought we'd uh, kick ourselves off with here today. Really nice. I know. I, I, I enjoyed it. I digged it or I dug it. <laughs> it was full of happy, wasn't it? I agree. Uh, I wanted a bit of a happy start. Or you could say that was the first song in my list that I missed last week. So I wanted to kick us off with it this week here. Hello to you. Hello to Eric. We've got uh, Benedict here. Uh, Bubba is here. Stream is fine. That is good. I'm always a bit worried. I've had a few uh, <laughs> weird streams lately where I've had some audio and some video issues. But I think everything looks great at this end. So uh, let me know how you're going. Haven't been here for a while. Welcome back. Good to have you here. And good to have our friend Bubba here. Hello to you. Hello all. Uh, having a blessed Jay, I'm uh, I'm feeling super pumped, super grateful, super happy today. I'm not even going to touch on anything else. Like, this is this is a couple of hours of just musical awesomeness and distraction for all. So let's just ignore the world and jump in and listen to a bunch of cool music from folks here on the channel. How do you submit? How do you submit? That sounds weird, but I know what you mean. Uh, you can email me. Uh, we have we have thirty tracks already, so we're probably full for today. But if you email me, Pete at studiolivetoday.com and put YML in the sub. Give me a couple of sentences about your track. That's the way you can do it. Yeah, that was that was a nice sitting by the pool kind of tune. Sipping a pina colada and uh, having a good time. So thank you to Cabin for kicking us off here today. Uh, going well. Let's uh, let's find our next track, shall we? Because uh, we want to get through a lot today. It's going to be a long one. Uh, we had a bit of a short show last week. We're going to have a longer show this week. So I hope. You are ready for that. Uh, we have played that one. Let's come into our next track. This is from Lewis, who says, Hi, I'd like to share you Intrepid Mind by Lewis Ozar. Here are the links. So we're going to uh, copy said links and place them in said browser. Bring this one up and uh, and give it a spin. So uh, we'll hit the pause button before it plays there. So this is a tune, as, as he said, this is Louis Ozar, a tune called Intrepid Mind. Let's take a listen to it here live on your... <laughs> <laughs> your unprofessional music live. No, the music professional, the uh, person controlling the music, can't seem to work out their play button. Let's try that one more time with feeling. Lewis Oza, Intrepid Mind, live on your music live. Mind, thinking of 
a crime. I'm walking around the city downtown. You don't know who's out. He knows how to hide. Was a friend of mine, but now we're apart. 'Cause I'm in trepid mind with vines a plant and won't stop until it works. Now we can cross the line. Gotta stay alive. Following the path might find a surprise. Hoping to come back where we can't return. 'Cause I'm in trepid mind with vines. There you have it, Louis Ozar with Intrepid Mind here on your music live. Thank you for sharing. I like the uh, the piano in that one, the dude. It's almost like an old western saloon bar kind of piano. Is anyone else getting that kind of vibe from that tune from Louis there? Really nice, really sort of low-key, cut-down kind of vibe. Uh, yeah, really digging that. Uh, the vocals were, were sitting nicely in the mix. I think... Um, what one thing I'd say with the vocals is there was a little bit being held back, I thought. Uh, and I know it's that sort of laid back kind of tune, but I really would have liked those. Nah, 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 nah. Just some of the notes, I think you could have just attacked a little bit harder and uh, it could have been even cooler. But a very cool one. Uh, Cody says the song kind of takes me back to the 1930s. Yeah, it's got that kind of old school sort of honky tonk piano kind of sound. Uh, very different. I like it. Lady Rodeline likes it. Uh, hello to Chuckin, Chuckin, Cookin, Jonesin. <laughs> <laughs> a name that's very uh, very hard for me to, to say. Very different. I like it. Simple. Uh, beat a little off. Uh, beat sometimes a little off though. Yeah. So I think just getting it right there in the pocket is is challenging. Uh, different and uh, intriguingly interesting. Um, and yeah, the piano. I did I did dig the piano big time in that one. Um, yeah, maybe a little far away from the far away from the mic. Yeah, the the ragtime piano was very very cool. Absolutely sounded great indeed. Hello, Sean Chandler. Not to be confused with Scott Chandler, who I normally call you. And hello to Degard Music, hey, to uh, Binny Sandu as well. Hope you are all doing well. Uh, we've got our friend Wingy is in the house uh, here today. We've played a lot of Wingy's tracks, and uh, we may have a Wingy track coming up later in the show here today. Wingy's throwing the super chat uh, our way, which really does help out, so thank you. This show, I said before, but this show is about two hours of, uh, of time. And because I play a lot of other people's music, uh, it, 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 all, any proceeds, anytime you see an ad in this show, uh, it's going to whomever's music uh, is copyrighted in the show. So uh, it'll get split out and sent away. Or usually what happens is it's just not monetized at all, <laughs> which is cool because it means they don't put ads on it. But anyway, uh, I hope you're enjoying it. And thank you, Wingy, for being part of the show again here today. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's continue, shall we, and go to our next song because we do have a lot to get through. By the way, if you want to, uh, you can jump down to the description at the end of this show. You can relive, because we only play about a minute of each song. We've got more than 30 tracks to play here today. So if I play it, the entire track will be here till uh, till dinner time or till the middle of the night for you folks. So we are going to... Uh, we are going to only play about a minute of each song, but if you want to hear the whole song in all of its glory, what you can do is jump on down to the description. There's links to all of the songs I play, and you can relive them. And look, I'm not a sub-for-sub sub person. I think that the whole uh, Grow Together sub-for-sub thing on YouTube doesn't work. I'll explain why later if you want me to, but let me just say that if you dig someone's music, subscribe to them and listen to their tunes. If you don't, don't, because you're actually doing them a disservice. If you subscribe to someone's channel with zero intention of ever listening or watching anything they put out there, that's actually damaging them. That's not helping. So the whole grow together thing where you, I want to get X number of subscribers on my music channel and then no one watches your music videos doesn't help you, doesn't help anybody except for YouTube because I don't even know why. I don't even, don't even think it would help YouTube. Anyway, let's come on over here and take a listen to this one. So this is from uh, oh, Rude. Rude spelt, uh, let's bring up the screen here so you can take a look at this. Uh, the name of the artist is Rude, but it's spelt in the coolest way. R-O-U-X apostrophe D. 
<laughs> so I'm going to subscribe to them right now and give them a like because I did take a quick listen to a couple of seconds. Now, uh, this is a song called Hold On. I have a song called Hold On. Uh, so this is a, so that you know, they instantly get a, a win with me. So it says, this song is taken from a new EP called Too Rude. Uh, it's about trusting people and losing that trust, but finding hope within yourself. Love it. You know, I love this sort of theme. So let's take a listen to this one. This is Rude with Hold On here on Your Music Live. Turn my back all the time on the people wasted mind. Never look for warning signs. Now I see how it's really meant to be. Hold on to your heart. Yes, you know I've got to turn down guitar solos. Sorry, a bit, bit of a running joke here that I tend to uh, fade the track out just as a guitar solo hits. But man, yeah, that got the that got us pumping, didn't it? Wow, yeah, totally professional sounding, absolutely the full package there. Uh, I, I agree, really rocking. And look, you get a free pass when you do music like this. Um, yeah, it's it's. Yeah, polished and edgy. There's so when you do music like this, you do get a free pass with me because it's my kind of music. But you can tell the difference. Like if I hear a hip hop track, or if I hear a lo-fi track, or if I hear an R&B track that's well produced, I'll still give it the love because yeah, it might not be my style of music. This wins because you've got a cool video, you've got a cool vibe, you've got a great song. It rocks. It's got as as Vincent says here, a really nice hook. And uh, yeah, the chorus the chorus does go hard. Um, yeah, and it, uh, here on the in my headphones, that was sounding awesome. So uh, hopefully it's translating through uh, the YouTube pipes and the compression didn't uh, crush it too much. But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he says, I'm going to have to do a solo YML. Yeah, just, just nothing but guitar solos for the entire time. That could be that could be a good track. Uh, Cody says, uh, loving, the, uh, loving the theme and the style of the vocals, yeah. It was it was super super well polished super nicely done uh hello gerald hope you're doing well uh yeah they got the dancers and everything it was all in there and here's the thing like as as uh as israel says here not my kind of music but it was great you you got to give it props if you even if you're um even if you're not into that kind of music and it's the same I, a lot of music that i don't particularly like the style or the genre but again you can appreciate how well something is produced and mixed so uh well done i'm now a rude fan uh yeah too rude too rude sounds like a sort of a british thing i'm thinking like british punk because you know uh, yeah the girl was rude i know she's rude that's like no, that's not punk that's the streets that's mike skinner uh anyway let's uh <laughs> let's continue on uh that one got me pumped up let's see what's next and this is why i love this show as you can probably tell, I'm pretty passionate about this show, and I'll uh, I'll keep doing it because uh, it's just so much fun to hit the button. It's almost like a, a randomizer. I, I press the button. I never know what I'm going to get next. And uh, what we're going to get next is Joe, who is uh, Cirrus Loft, and he says, uh, "Hi Pete, I saw you play people's music on YouTube. I do. Do you play instrumental music? I do. I have a piano piece that people love. That's cool. I just dedicate it to my mum after she died of cancer. Well, that is not cool, but um, uh, it is cool that people can." create music uh, for the people that they they loved and that the people that they miss in their lives so uh let's uh, bring up the link here we've got a youtube link and uh, we'll hit the pause button there oh please pause <laughs> come on youtube you can do it you can do it buddy all right so let's uh, let's jump over to this one this is cirrus loft with madeline's uh cap 
Capriccio. Capriccio. I should probably know words, <laughs> but I'm not so good with words. This early on a Saturday morning anyway. Uh, let's listen to Cirrus Loft's uh, piano instrumental tune here on Your Music Live. Gotta love that, uh, yeah, I'm a sucker for, for piano concertos, for, for solo piano tunes. Uh, just really, uh, really well constructed there. Really, really nicely done. Yeah, skillfully played. You can tell that that's someone that knows their way around the ivories or the uh, the fake ivories as we mostly have these days. But yeah, beautiful piece of music. Very sorry for your loss. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, the, the chromatic scales in there. But I know Bubba loves him some chromatic scales. So uh, well done there. Superb performance. Can feel the emotion. Absolutely beautiful and full of love. Very nice, nice piece of piano work. Uh, yeah, piano can still cut it. Absolutely, just just throw a uh, just throw a song, uh, just throw it in there, and uh, you got it good. A little bit of piano can uh, can make the can make you feel good, and it just shows that there's different tunes, aren't there? There's different styles of music. It's all good. Uh, it is uh, excellent. And uh, Frigsy says, nice piano playing, excellent player. Absolutely. All righty. Let's, uh, let's continue on from that one. Um, but yeah, no, sorry. I wish I could play piano like that. Um, if I created that piano piece, that would be about seven tracks because I'd play it like one note at a time and hope that all the chords and runs. But you, you simply can't do that. Like you can't get a track that sounds that good by doing it one at a time. It just, uh, it just doesn't fly, does it? So uh, great job, Joe. Thank you for sharing. I really appreciate it. And yes, yeah, sorry for your loss, 100%. Uh, let's move on. We've got Brendan next here on the show. Uh, Brendan says, this is my best song in my opinion. Well, we'll be the judge. No. <laughs> Completely different from the last one I sent. Yeah, okay. We've heard from Brendan before by the sounds of it. Let's, uh, let's bring this one up. We're just going in email order today because I always get so out of sorts and lost. We're just going vump, straight up the email chain this time around. So we're going to go and take a listen to Brendan here. We've got a sound cloud. We had lots of, um, Lots of YouTube so far, and my computer's handled it. Touch wood. You know, as soon as I say that, the computer goes, computer says no, and uh, it'll all just go to um, <clears throat> stuff. Uh, now, hello, SoundCloud. You know that we're on SoundCloud because it's trying to sell us stuff, yeah? <laughs> try Pro, risk-free. No, sorry, SoundCloud. You're trying though. Keep keep, keep going for it, big fella. Well, we'll you, you'll be fine. No, I do. I do appreciate that we have things like SoundCloud and Slaps that are free services that we can use to share music. So I don't begrudge them wanting to, you know, uh, make money and have a business model. That is totally cool. I'll I'll stop. Uh, I'll stop ragging on SoundCloud because they're actually pretty cool. Let's take a listen to this one. This is Sea of Stars by Brendan Haggerty, and you're going to listen to it live on your Music Live.
That's uh, that's one epic piece of music there, Brendan. Uh, listen to what you got in there. You got the piano with the nice delay on the piano going in there. Yeah, nice anthem, isn't it? Uh, you've got the strings doing the zoom, 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 zoom. That's the technical word for it. The zoom, 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 zoom. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's and it is. It's a it's. I, I I agree with you. It's a little in your face, so it's it's very strong, very powerful. I don't know if maybe there's a little bit of over compression or over limiting there. Maybe you could pull it back a little bit just to hear the individual instruments, but definitely super powerful. Uh, fourteen very fourteen ninety two conquest of paradise. There you go. Got the orchestra feel going on. Very nice odd kind of tension. I know. Didn't you get a Didn't you get a feeling of tension in that one? Um, yeah, and it's good just juxtaposition between the piano and the orchestra uh, elements. Absolutely. Pretty darn special, indeed. Uh, uh, hello to the Metalhead Hippie. Send me an email. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, we, we've got like 30 tracks on the on the show here today, Hippie. But uh, if we if we get through them, uh, I'll definitely dive into the email for the new ones. Otherwise, you know, we're here every week. Uh, sounded like the piano had uh, had good compression. Yeah, so good, good sound coming through on the piano. I really like the piano sound. I thought maybe just those lower end, maybe a little bit heavy on the low end. Could probably do some EQ tweaking down the bottom end, but... Uh, the cello effect. Yeah, I really like the cello doing the zoom, 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 zoom. That was cool. Uh, as Barry Tomkinson says, g'day to you, Barry. That was really cool. It was indeed. And I hope you are doing cool and that everyone is cool and uh, and having a good day, good weekend. It's going to be a big weekend here on the channel. We've got a whole bunch of stuff going on here which we'll uh, we'll get to as we go through because it's going to be it's going to be a big one and uh, I'm ready for it. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for it. I'm just going to throw a link here down in the description because as I've said before, but in case you're new and you're just joining us, if uh, you go down to the description, you can check out the links to all of the show all the shows, all of the videos and all the music that we played here today on the show so go ahead and do that and you know what while you're down there the like button and the subscribe button are just next to it so you might as well i know most of you will uh have already subscribed and uh, if you get some value out of this one if you have some fun if you dig the tunes uh hit the like button that just uh, helps show people the way and maybe bring more people in and share their music and uh yeah, we'll have some fun. Listen to some tunes. That's what it's all about, right? Speaking of tunes and what it's all about, let's jump in and grab our next tune here. We've got a YouTube video here, and this one has come from... Uh, this is from Joel. Joel says, uh, I want to submit a cover song for Your Music Live. The song is called In the Wee Small Hours of the Morning by Frank Sinatra. I recorded this cover on my iPad Air 2 with a blue Yeti mic using GarageBand, and here's a link to the video. Okay, you know you know, I'm already in. You know that uh, when you say GarageBand and you're blue Yeti, that I'm in. Uh, we are playing some covers this week. <laughs> I'm living on the edge a little bit here. Uh, I did open us up to a couple of covers this week, so uh, they should just get copyright claims. As long as we're not using the original music, uh, we should be okay. Uh, copyright claims are fine. We get plenty of them every week. Copyright strikes are what we want to avoid. So we can't play any 100% original copyrighted music from uh, some artists because they get a little bit aggressive on us and they don't let us play or they block the block the replay. We don't want that. So let's uh, let's bring this one up here. This is, uh, uh, now it's Joel. Does he have a name? Yep, Joel Ventura. Does he have a name? You know what I mean. Does he have a different name or can I use his real name? Joel Ventura and a covers of in the wee small hours of the morning, let's play it live on your music live. In the wee small hours of the morning while the whole wide world is fast asleep You lie awake And think about the girl And never ever think of counting sheep When your lonely heart has learned its lesson you be hers if only she would call in the wee small hours of the morning that's the time you miss her most most of all
I think the comments say it all there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, and yeah, because of because of this very reason, uh, the Sinatra estate is quick to claim copyright. We had a vlog on that channel with three seconds and it got tagged. Yeah, so it'll probably get tagged, which is totally fine, as I say. Uh, but yeah, definitely channeling Sinatra there. Uh, my friend, who's that? That's Joel. Joel Ventura uh, doing some amazing work on that one absolutely um a voice calling home from the north end uh yeah really really nice move over buble yeah it had a buble feel to it didn't it uh really good amazing cover wow this is epic <laughs> yeah i know excellent cover good one. Oh, yeah that that one that one yeah <laughs> It hurts in a good way, I know. It hurts when you hear someone sing like that because I'm like, <clears throat> no matter how hard I try, <laughs> there's some things that you've just, like that clearly uh, clearly Joel has worked hard to get that level of vocals and to be able to sing like that. But um, yeah, uh, for, for me, <clears throat> like I'm, I'm just never going to get that resonance and that tone in my voice. Um, I, I, after a big night out, that's about the only time. <laughs> <laughs> if I come, if I wake up in the morning, I can get about four or five tones lower, but uh, I still don't have that beautiful resonance that uh, that Joel got in there. And yeah, very good interpretation. Uh, we've got Jack needs a de-esser uh, to cut the S's. I didn't really hear a lot of the way of S's there, but um, yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> Happy Ron says, I'm going back to school with my covers now. Oh, Ron, you know that you do some good tunes, but uh, yeah, that's, that's the sort of music that makes you go, man, I wish I could do that. But uh, in a good way, like not in a uh, not in a bad way. We're not we're not here to cut down the tall poppies by any stretch. But that was that was brilliant. So uh, let me just make sure that that goes in here. That was Joel Ventura. I'm gonna go into the links at the bottom of the page, and that was in the we we. He said we in the wee small hours of the morning. And we'll paste it in there. All right, so that's down in the description. If you want to check that one out, you can go ahead and do it. And if you do want to share a song, just email me, Pete, at studiolivetoday.com. Put YML in the subject. We are pretty chockers today. I've got 30 tracks in the inbox already, and we're only six in. So, uh, yeah, we, we may be a little bit short on time, but uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, we've got Michaela. Uh, Michaela says, hey, Pete, I hope you're well. I was hoping you could review my first ever song called As Long As You're Mine. It's a pop EDM track about unconditional love, staying with someone besides the odds, and letting them know they're good enough. Uh, this is uh, from Mika Michaela G. Ray. So let's uh, bring up this tune. We've got a SoundCloud link here. So we'll load on up over here in the SoundCloud. We'll hit the pause button and then we'll come back over here. So uh, let's give this one a spin, shall we? This is Michaela G. Ray, As Long As You're Mine. Let's listen to it live on your music live. <laughs> People judge you from your past and think you're bad, boo Don't think I think I see you if you tell the truth People hate it when we come around Everybody's trying to bring us down But I will keep you here and we won't fight And I will wipe your tears for the rest of your life Or until you finally breathe and see it's your mind You are my love and I will forget about you lost I know you think you ain't good enough but I made you Don't think you ain't good enough cause it's not true So just hold on, don't let go Just hold on, don't let go Just hold on, as long as you're mine Just hold on, don't let go Just hold on, don't let go Just hold on, as long as you're mine they can talk about you, but I'm hardcore, see? I'm gonna love you unconditionally. I'm gonna love you so good. There you go. Michaela G. Ray, as long as your mind. Mind? Mine. Oh, yeah, sounds good. Well done. Agree. Great track and vocals. Nice track. Nice beat. Great voice. Well produced. Love it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a lot like my first song I ever wrote, said no one ever. Right? Like, how good are these people coming up and, like, writing their first songs and just doing this? Uh, yeah, this this could make the rounds in the clubs for sure. And it goes to show what I was saying there before, which is that 
like this is not the style of music that I sit down and listen to. But knowing that this is Michaela, she sent us an email. She said, "Hey, can we share this? Can we talk it out? Like, can we uh, can we share this and and take a listen on the show?" It's cool because when you know, I've said this before, I said that everyone's favorite musician and artist in the future, I think will be people that they actually connect with and real people producing real tracks like this. Uh, And as Aunty G said here, the vocals and the harmonies, there were some really subtle but really effective vocal harmonies in there as well. And this track got out of the way of itself. What I mean by that is it wasn't so full on that you couldn't hear all the individual components, but all the individual components work together so well that it came together as one harmonious piece. Does that make sense? Sometimes you put too much into it and it just sounds all garbled and and mid-rangey and just muddy. But sometimes everything is so individual that it doesn't sound like a cohesive track. Finding the balance, something that sits in between those two, is a really challenging thing. And Michaela, you've produced a song here that does exactly that. Yes, heads bopping, really good indeed, really dig this, Uh, QB's a fan, oh no, Gary Hubs has got to go back to work, Uh, yeah, Michaela nailed it for sure, Uh, very very nice recording, great volumes in the backups, yeah, really well mixed, really great great balance in the mix, and uh, yeah, I I say exactly the same thing, not my genre, but sounds great, and excellent vocals. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Love it. Uh, let's uh, let's move on here. So thank you again. Uh, once again, that is down in the description. Or is it? Have I put it there yet? Am I, uh, am I slack and behind the eight ball again? I think I am. Uh, yeah, I haven't put it here. Give me one moment, please. I should do this. The problem is when, it, when a track kicks in and I'm just like, oh, this is cool, uh, then I forget to actually put the track name <laughs> down in the description. So as long as... And I know you could say, Pete, why don't you just spend like an hour going through and doing all that before the show. Then we'll know the track order and then we'll know what's going on. I'm like, I do this show because it's fun and it's not work. If I if I make this show work, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll stop wanting to do it as much. So uh, that's my excuse anyway. Uh, and I want to keep doing the show. So uh, that is in the description. So again, if you want to do... And as I think Ron was said before, and I've said it before, yeah, definitely yeah, subscribe to folks if it's the sort of stuff you dig. And, and that's the thing. Like, I subscribe to all these different artists and I follow them because I like the musical side of it. But if you're just listening to music and you subscribe to a bunch of artists that you'll always skip their tracks and you'll never listen to their music, that ain't helping anyone. I've, I've, I'll keep saying that because I think it's something that's missed. Unfortunately... YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, they all promote vanity metrics. They all want you to think that you need an X number of subscribers or X number of followers to validate you. It's not the case. You need the right group of people. You need your tribe. You need your fans. You need the people that dig your music and what you do. I won't harp on that, but I've had uh, I've had some people during the week that have just been so they're just so desperate to uh, to get the vanity metrics, and I'm like, relax, just, it's okay. <laughs> I get it. I know that's what they want you to do, but it's not it's not real. It's not the it's not the true thing that you should be following. Let's move on here. We've got uh, Tony Tone. It says, "Hi Pete, my name's Tony. I've been recording on GarageBand for a couple of months now. Uh, your videos really helped out. Awesome, good one, my friend. Uh, but made this one last night. I couldn't sleep, and I was inspired by." A some recent shoegaze artists I was listening to. I added the fuzz to the guitar, GarageBand's fuzz pedal, and some different delays from my boss, DD200 pedal. Sounds like a win already. Uh, let's uh, let's grab this one. Uh, we've got a link here. So this is one um, uh, that Tony sent me through the uh, a, a file originally, and I said, can you send me a link? It's just easier. Uh, we get a visual if we've got a link here. So he has sent me the link through. So we'll bring up the link on the page. We'll hit the pause. And uh, oh, the pause doesn't work here. Whenever I come here to GarageBand, not GarageBand, what's it called? YouTube. <laughs> I try to pause the track so it doesn't play. It doesn't do it. I'll, I need to talk to uh, to Metalhead Hippie because he does a he does a show. He does like four hour long shows where he's playing people's music. He does an epic job over there. So uh, anyway, let's listen to this one. This is from Stony Tone, and this is a tune called Dream Sync. We're going to listen to it live on your music live.
<laughs> I've had dreams like this. Yeah, much better soundtrack there. Yeah, I've had dreams of people doing... Is that called like the something shuffle, the Brooklyn shuffle or the something? I don't know. Is anyone know the name of that dance where you move your feet so fast you kind of slide around? Uh, anyway, that's really cool. Uh, as Tom says, it's uh, different, but I like it. Uh, yeah, cool video too. Hello, Chinton. Good to have you here, my friend. Like this. I dig this as well. Uh, yeah, now this is getting getting better and better. A nice track. Love it from Binny. Yeah, pretty darn cool. Absolutely. Uh, Dream Sync. Great, uh, great job. I wish my home recordings could sound like this. And they can. That's the thing. Uh, you can you can create home recordings that sound like this. GarageBand is pretty amazing. We've proven that again and again. Uh, when I listen to tracks from from people like Gary Hubs and from Glenn Clark and from all these folks over on the GarageBand users Facebook group, and you go, yeah, GarageBand is not the limitation of anything. GarageBand is just the medium. Again, I know I'm I'm a bit ranty today. I'm I'm positive ranty though. I'm passionate about stuff because I just want I want people to just keep creating and keep doing their thing. But it's ones and zeros, people. It's it's the stuff you put into it. It's not the actual platform. It's not using GarageBand or Pro Tools or Logic or anything that's actually going to help you. It's writing a kick-ass song and then recording it in the best quality you can. And yes, it does slap indeed. Uh, a little slow dive sounding. Yeah, there's that's a, that's a, yeah, a reach back, a bit of a blast from the past, yeah. Very cool. Um, and uh, Andy Goldsby says, very cool. Personal taste here, but I like the hi-hat to chime a bit more. Yeah, a bit of a ching, ching, ching. Almost, even if you could bring it up on the ride for a bit of that, a bit of ride bell action. You know, you know I like a bit of bell action. Sorry, that's, uh, that's something for my UK friends. Uh, let's move on here. <coughs> and uh, grab our next tune. So we played Tony's tune. Ah, hello. We've got uh, we've got Kev. We've got Kev O'Grady here from Park UK. It says, please find below my song Carry You, which I'd like to submit for your music live. It's a slaps track. You know we love us some slaps. Having more time uh, at the start of COVID lockdown in London, UK. Part two, Electric Boogaloo. I decided to fire up my 15-year-old computer and have a go at trying to use the door I bought around the same time to write music. This is the second song I wrote. Uh, it is intended as a song pretty much of the time at the time with a sort of tribute uh, in the chorus to the healthcare workers and they're busy saving people's lives. Yeah, shout out to the healthcare workers. I, I, no, I'm not even going to go there with what... what uh, yeah. The news has basically forgotten that we've got a global pandemic for the last four days, and I think that's a bit sad. But anyway, we'll continue on, because there are some people that are still working their asses off trying to help people uh, at the moment. So shout out, kudos to, to those people. Uh, I'm afraid I got a bit of carried away. I got a bit arty with the lead and the outro. Well, we probably won't play the outro, because you know me, I cut people off. Anyway, let's bring up this track, because I'm, I'm intrigued now. I want to listen to it. I want to take a listen to uh, Park UK. So we'll bring up the slap track. <laughs> Here we go. Here's our friend Kevin, Park UK. Uh, let's turn up the volume, shall we? And uh, hit the play button. <laughs> I have to tell you everything I'm doing. Uh, here is Kevin, Park UK, on Your Music Live with a tune called Carry You. You're listening to it live on Your Music Live. find you if you're cold i will hold you if you're down and alone and lost without hope then i will carry you burning brighter than all before when nothing can be better just a matter of time before we're stepping in the fire tonight we burn like fireflies we just don't feel the heat but it's like a weight you cannot move till it's too hard to breathe if you're feeling alone know that i
sounded like we had a really good build up there. That that could be my next new thing is uh, to uh, to to cut off good good build ups as well as good uh, guitar solos. But yeah, very, very nice. Yeah, nothing nothing to dislike here. Uh, nothing to dislike here. Uh, yeah, I like it. Very good. Very good indeed. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever heard uh, one of your tunes that I don't like, uh, Kev. So uh, well done, uh, Spandau Ballet. -ish. There's a there's a reach back again, uh, Spandau Ballet. I haven't thought about that band in a very long time, but agree. Uh, very good and dedicated to something very important, which I agree with. And a good journey. I love a song that takes you on a journey. Uh, that just, yeah, takes you along and tells a story and has meaning behind it. I mean, you know what? You can rock out as well. You can have a cool pop tune. You can have something that just doesn't mean anything. Move into the country, going to eat a lot of peaches. But sometimes it's cool to have something that has some of that, uh, that power to it as well. So thank you for that. Uh, oh, look, I'm already ahead. I actually put it in the description already. So I'm, uh, I'm getting better. I'm improving. Uh, <laughs> and uh, thank you to Jade and the moderators here for uh, helping us out here. If you do want a song played, uh, typing the name of an artist over and over again in the chat is not the way to do it, just quietly. <laughs> Enough said. Let's continue on and uh, play our next song here on the channel. Uh, that was our buddy Kev. So let's move on. Uh, Michael. So, Michael, latest instrumental, Happy Trails. Okay, let's play it. <laughs> uh, usually, um, just send me a little bit more information than that because I don't really know. Uh, I like to know at least you know how you created it or what the song's about or what it means to you. But, hey, sometimes you just send us a song and we'll, uh, we'll give it a spin here. YouTube, every time I'm pausing YouTube, it's unpausing me. It's like, no, 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 no. You want to autoplay. We know you want to. We want to serve you ads, so you better autoplay. And I'm like, I'm on YouTube Premium. You don't play ads. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, oh, don't be like that. I'm having a conversation with computers, clearly losing my ever-loving. Let's come in here. Let's uh, take a listen to this one. This is Fooey, End Times Are Near Again, featuring MJ, official playthrough, Goon Galaxy music video. We'll hit play on this one here on Your Music Live. <laughs> of journeys what a journey that one is you know how i said before when we we're listening to the uh to the tunes uh, to the to uh what was our friend our friend joel singing uh with the with the michael buble voice yeah i want to play guitar like that 
<laughs> that is awesome. And yeah, and that bass, like the bass, the combination of that bass and the guitar and the feels that you got there was very, very cool. Uh, interesting note selection. I know. No, no chromatics here, Bubba. Uh, we're all over the place. We're using different jazz chords and scales and things uh, all up the wazoo. Uh, excellent. Ex expertly done modern jazz. Very cool indeed. Beautiful. Agree. Uh, like the, yeah, like the drums, guitar work, keys, nice tone from the guitar. Absolutely. Uh, oh, collaboration with a female vocalist would be so hip. Yeah, maybe you could put a, uh, yeah, like a female jazz singer over the top of this one. <laughs> I also have, I got the, I got the chubby, chunky finger syndrome, so I can't play lead guitar at all, let alone that well, let alone that high up the fretboard. I would completely, uh, completely struggle. Uh, yes, um, very, very jazzy, very cool, so well composed. Agree. Uh, and I can't stop watching. Like when I watch someone that can play guitar like that, I'm like, yeah, I need, I need those long fingers. That's what I'm going to blame. Not my talent, my skill, my, uh, my ability to keep playing things. Um, and to my stick to I'm going to blame my fingers. Because it's, it's fun to blame things, right? Uh, hello, Stony Tone. Uh, we played your tune a couple of tunes ago. I don't know if you were here in the stream, but uh, rewind and check that out if you missed it because uh, you got some good good comments and some a lot of love for your tune as well. So uh, thank you for that. Thank you, everyone, for sharing. Thank you to the moderators and uh, here on the channel as well. <laughs> I had to do I had to do some moderating there. And look, it's a bit of a pain in the butt if I have to... I want to I talk to you folks and I want to play cool songs and I want to uh, just uh, rock out. I don't want to have to spend my time uh, blocking you users who want to come in here and by the way if you're wondering why people do that um, a lot of that is actually paying people to spam comments so you can actually buy like you can buy subscribers you can buy views you can buy a lot of things you can now actually buy people to go into your, <laughs> to go into other people's channels and spam about you so if you ever see someone that you're like why are these people caring about this other person they maybe they're a fan maybe they're on like a big thing where they're trying to help and support an artist more often than not they're actually part of a uh, a plan to actually try and do some promotion for an artist uh, it's a bit like the whole white hat, black hat hacking kind of thing. That's the very much the black hat way. And it's right on line with that whole uh, why I say sub for sub is bad and grow together is bad and buying views is bad. Don't do it, people. Seriously, just uh, make good music, share good music, have fun with it. That's the best way to go. Enough said, enough said. Let's move on. All right, uh, let's move on to heinous. There you go. Heinous. Uh, uh, I'm Heinous. This song, Dear Dad, uh, is wrote as a letter to my dad who passed away from cancer a couple of years back. Sorry to hear about that. Uh, I'd compare the style to that of Juice World and Little Peep. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, let's have a listen to this. Now, I did have a quick listen to this beforehand. It does have one uh, F-bomb right up at the front. So uh, if that offends you, this is your parental advisory warning. Uh, I do like to keep things a little bit uh, a little bit on the PG-13 side, but uh, we can we can handle the occasional uh, the occasional um, the occasional swear word as we call it here in Australia uh, on the show. But uh, yeah, I just I listen to the very start of tracks just to make sure it's not just F F F F C C C C, and then I'm like, yeah, we can't have that. But uh, I don't mind a little bit of something if it's uh, if it's fitting. So let's uh, let's bring this one up. This is uh, this is uh, heinous. And this is a tune called Dear Dad, uh, live streaming in the garage. So I love this, a live performance uh, of a tune here. This is uh, Heinous with Dear Dad on your music live. I guess, I guess we're doing Dear Dad, fuck it. I'm just going to see who, who's on the chat. Thinking lately, can't remember, your voice is fading. I remember from the pictures, but you ain't really there. Dear father, lately life's been a blur No directions, no I'm never really sure And I ain't doing fine, I'm stuck in hard times No I'll be fine, got so much time I don't got peace of mind All the lost times, peace I need to find You missed out on my change On my heartbreaks, on my friends' graves I know if you saw me, you wouldn't recognize No, I'm not the same kid, I'm still the same kid Seen so much pain, Dad Dad, I'm so sad, tell me where to go, Dad At life, I'm so bad Thinking lately, can't remember Your voice is fading I remember from the pictures But you ain't really there Living in pain, feel like I'm insane Running in my brain, then they hit the flame. Sorry, Dad, I'm medicated. All the pain of fame. If you can see me, you would hate it. 
Wish we had more time Pain and regret, so much loss of my mind Pain I've met, I've been put to the test With my depression, all the people I've lost And life lessons, and I don't got peace of mind All the lost times, peace I need to find You miss out on my change, all my heart breaks All my friends grace Now you're in a box deck very nicely done. Uh, yeah, you can tell again, you can tell when something's got some passion and some feeling behind it. Yeah, just just really, really nicely done. Good beat, uh, nice guitar and beat. Yeah, nice vocals, good lyrics. Dreamy says that. Uh, is he rapping? Yeah, he's, he's rapping there. He's doing his thing. Uh, very touching. Agree. Um, yeah, can feel the hurt in there. And I've, I've said it before. I said it on last week's show. I say it every week. Music is is to help you feel, it's to help you uh, deal, <laughs> it's to help you do other things that ride with that. No, it's to help, it, it can be a, the best healer, it can be, it can make you happy, it can make you sad, it can make you laugh, it can make you cry. Uh, and that's the thing, if, if, if music makes you feel a certain way, it's done its job. And some music is designed to make you really happy and, re and really intense in that way. Some music is designed to make you introspective and think about things. So uh, you've done a great job with that one there. We've got some more comments coming through here. We'll, we'll move off of my, my background screen. Uh, yeah, heartfelt and I love it. Uh, and the vi visuals, yeah, I love the, the wrapping in your garage there thing. That was, that was very cool. Liking this, uh, yeah, you can tell where it comes from. Absolutely. Uh, like it, sad story, but good job. Exactly. Makes a, make, hits you in the feels and uh, emotion. Emotion is key. Agree. Uh, yeah. Y music is emotion, basically. It's like that's, you know, goes right down to the minor, the minor versus the major. Like the minor is sad, major is happy. I know that's an oversimplification, but that's kind of where it starts and then it branches out from there. Now, I've realized that as I was, as I was digging that tune, I wasn't really listening. <laughs> So I, uh, I needed to, uh, sorry, was, I was listening, so I wasn't uh, doing my job, which is to actually put it in here. So that was heinous, and that was Dear Dad, and that's down in the description. Because if you're watching this and you want to catch up on any of these tunes, you can go down to the description and then uh, listen to them, because they're people that have gone out of their way to create some good music and to, uh, to do, share it with us here on the channel. Speaking of sharing music and the channel, let's find our next song. In fact, it is. It's our friend Wingy. So Wingy uh, was here earlier in the show, dropped a super chat. So thank you, Wingy. I do appreciate that. And Wingy has got a new tune here. It says, I'm back with some more music that you can hopefully review. This song is about being in a relationship with someone who is bad for you, but you just find yourself coming back to that person over and over again. I'm sure there are people who can relate to this one. Uh, let's bring this up. We've got a SoundCloud link here from our friend Wingy. We have an adorable puppy. <laughs> an adorable puppy. There you go. Uh, so this is a tune called Paradise from Wingy, and I love it already because adorable puppy. Let's uh, hit play on this one. Wingy with Paradise on your Music Live. Maybe I can find my paradise Lately you've been living in my mind Inside you, confide you They try to hide you from my life Maybe I can find somewhere to die 
absolutely, Jade. Uh, Wingy, a versatile artist indeed. Uh, all of Wingy's stuff is cool. We got He injects some comedy into some tunes, some really good beats, some vibes, really good vocals, just really nicely mixed, really nicely done. Uh, so yeah, like the like the voice effect, probably a little bit of auto tune in there, but not used in a bad way. No, we're not T painting it up here, but uh, very nicely done. <laughs> this goes to eleven because puppy, but seriously, well done, absolutely love the elements in the track as well. Uh, and yeah, if oh, okay. Making me work here by scrolling around. Uh, yeah, this one, uh, this one grows on me as it goes. Nice work. And uh, as Jade has said here, if you would like your music on the show, there are two ways you can do it, and uh, they're in the description. So jump to the description before you put a comment. What is that thing? Uh, read, read the instructions before you do it. It's like those tests that they have at school. Is that if you, uh, you know, the ones that have like ten questions, and they say read through all the questions before you start the test, and question ten says do not do any of these questions, just go and hand it to the teacher. Did you ever do these? They were really cool. And they really proved that people don't have the attention span to actually read instructions before they start things. There's a connection there. Just saying. Alrighty, uh, that was Wingy with Paradise. I liked it as well. Very nice work. Lady Rodaline likes it as well. A catchy tune, indeed, indeed. Uh, love it. Um, and a bit of, yeah, a bit of pitch correction to spice it up. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with some pitch correction. I like it. Puppy Pop. <laughs> there you go. He's invented a whole new genre, Danny, called Puppy Pop. I like it. Alrighty, let's uh, let's continue on, shall we? Uh, as my as my block list grows, we'll continue on. That was Wingy uh, with Paradise. We will continue to take a look at some more tunes here. Oh, are we at the halfway mark? We're almost at the halfway mark. I'm going to play one more tune, and then I'm going to have the now traditional halftime break where I uh, get to have a comfort stop while we play uh, a tune. So uh, we will do that after this one, because this is from Crunchy Collective. It says, hi, Pete. I just wanted to add one more for your consideration. It's alternative. Uh, I'll just say that. It does actually get kind of interesting toward the middle. We'll see if we get to the middle. <laughs> so this is Crucy AK Infrajectress. Man, some people have got some names that just make it uh, make it difficult for me to, uh, to actually say. But that's okay. Let's bring this one up here. We'll throw it over here on the YouTubes, and uh, we'll hit the pause button. There we go, and this is Cru Cruci Collective, and this is called Welcome to the Actagon, uh, and we'll give it a spin here on Your Music Live. If we turn up the volume, it even helps even more. Let's go. Don't crash the bus, crash the system. Don't crash the bus, crash the system. Don't crash the bus. Crash the system. Don't crash the bus. Crash the system. Don't crash the bus. Crash the system. The meeting of Joseph. Listen, he was a man of the people. Don't crash the bus. Crash the system to make eyes with them. 2.2 Fam is all Step 3 Be good to dogs Love cats Much Number 5 Release Transmit Learn new things Release Transmit Plug in to the presence Transmit Shake me when I put shoes to ground Infect me Give me rabbit chaos and bugs Take me to emoticons Play me Fly me Wow <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of a little bit of uh, one of those tunes from the Radiohead album. What is the one that's like uh, with the robot voice? Uh, can someone help me with that? Um, yeah, there was one... I can't remember the name of the tune now, but you know the one I'm talking about, yeah? Where it's like, uh, it's robot voice and he's like, so, uh, I can't even remember the words now, but you know the one. Uh, and it's it's almost something that uh, the Jade Star that you do with your utensils, um, your utensils uh, brand or track but uh there you go uh computer rock <laughs> there you go that was dope i thought you would enjoy that one uh and chindon says we're waiting for the song to start well uh you're going to have to uh you're going to have to go and check out the song yourself i've i've taken the video away because it goes into some some not graphical imagery but just imagery that none of us need to see right now just uh well that i i don't think we need to see on this show uh yeah maybe there's a bit of text-to-speech going on there 
Um, yeah, re- really interesting. Was kind of uh, waiting for it to drop hard, but it never did. I guess later on. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to find out. All, all intro, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps it was, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I like it. Uh, but yeah, so, something very different. Something something very different as well. Um, oh yeah, I, I did notice this. Uh, Arnie G, have you filled out the band for your song yet? So I'll throw it out here. And sorry, Arnie G, if you don't want me to do this, but if you're part of, uh, I think it was on Create Record Release or maybe Garage Band Users. Uh, Arnie G is looking for some uh, some band members, some guitar players to uh, turn her virtual guitars into real guitars on uh, on a track. So uh, if you're a member of Create Record Release or Garage Band Users and you want to uh, be part of Arnie G's awesome music, uh, go over and uh, go over and check it out, and uh, support those that support the Studio Live Today community. Speaking of those that support the Studio Live Today community, uh, I'm, I'm going to go have a comfort stop, which means that I'm going to play a tune. And uh, I think we did this last time, didn't we, Jade? Did we play one of your tunes uh, last time I uh, I did? Last time I had to go and have a, have a quick break? Maybe. But uh, we're, we're going to kind of make it a habit here, I think, because Jade does a great job. As she, as she said, she would rather be listening to the music than having to moderate the comments, but she keeps, uh, she keeps things cool here. And I like the fact that new people come on in and... A lot of new people that come on into the stream will come here and they'll just listen to the tunes and they'll have a good time and that's great. In fact, if you are new, while I play this one, if you're new here, give me a hashtag first time down in the chat and we'll know that you are a a first time at watching the stream and uh, the regulars here can make you feel at home and uh, welcome. So give me a hashtag first time and yes, Jade Star is the toilet break, which for those in Australia, you'll remember is, uh, is something that was on the late show where they played a segment from a talent show called Potluck. Think the voice, but without the talent. <laughs> or Australia's Got Talent without the talent. Something like that. Uh, so, yes, you are you are the toilet break. So uh, we'll bring this one up here. I will I will scarf it. I will skedaddle for just a couple of minutes. So I've got three minutes and five seconds because uh, you'll want to watch this one. This is the new single, the premiere video of Jade Star Dread Circus, the official music video for her tune called It's Over. Let's uh, watch and listen to this one, shall we? Shall we? on Your Music Live.
There you go. The one and only Jade Star Dread Circus with It's Over. Have I not liked that? There you go. I've liked it now. Available now in all your creepiest, scariest streaming platforms and Spotify. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think Spotify is creepy. Uh, very, very nicely done. And welcome to the folks who it is your first time. Uh, we've had a few folks here. Where, where were our first timers? So there, there's been so many comments since then uh, that, uh, yeah, oh, Radiohead's fitter, happier, more productive, a cat in a vol uh, on antibiotics. Yeah, that one. Um, I've, uh, I've, I've lost the spot. But yes, uh, there we go. So Jack, hello to you. First time. Hello to uh, Misha. It's your first time here on the stream. Good to have you on board. Uh, we've got Frigzy, your first time here. Thank you for being here. Uh, and yeah, if, if it is your first time, give me a hashtag. Your hashtag first time because we, uh, we do love people... That that come in here and watch it, uh, watch the show for the first time, and uh, don't spam us. You're awesome. <laughs> the, the act of not spamming the chat makes me like you now. That's a little bit uh, weird, isn't it? Anyway, we've got a heap more music to go here. We just need to uh, put Jade Star's link there because you will want to go back and watch and listen to that one. Even though you know the scream is coming, it's a jump scare every time for me. So, uh, yeah, it's prob hopefully it's the same for you too because it's fun. It's fun to be scared, right? Let's move on. We've got more tracks to get through. I fear we're not going to get through all 30 tracks here th today because we just have so gosh darn many of them. Uh, oh, here is here is someone that, uh, that produces some good music, as do all of you. Uh, but we haven't heard a track from Martin Hammer for a while. How are you, my friend Martin? One of the uh, wonderful patrons of the channel over on patreon.com slash Pete Johns, hashtag shameless plug, says, Hi Pete, hope you're well. I am. Do you think there's any chance of my last song, Wasted Days, to be played on the show next weekend? There is. If not, no panic. No panic at all. Uh, if a song whip link doesn't work for you, let me know. Song whip will be fine. We'll paste in the song whip. If you don't know about song whip, uh, I mention it whenever anyone does a song whip link. It is a great way to share your music. Our buddy over there, Wilson Page, creates a great service there. You go to song whip, you give it your link, and look at this. It gives you links to all the places you can stream and buy the song. So we'll use YouTube just because it seems to give us the best visuals to take a look at while we play the tune. We'll pause it. We'll go back to the start so we don't miss the opening. See, look at this. YouTube just keeps continuing to try and play. Even though we've paused. Pause. Go to start of track. There we go. You just have to do that over and over again. Don't know why. Uh, user error, I don't doubt. Let's uh, let's hit the play button on this one. This is our friend Martin Hammer uh, with a tune called Wasted Days. We'll listen. We'll turn, off, <laughs> turn your mic down before you finish your intro, Pete. Well done. We'll listen to it live on your music live. Martin Hammer does not disappoint. I mentioned it earlier in the show, but I, I've got to the point now where I just stick on people's music that I know. So I will literally put on some Martin Hammer music and just rock out to it because it's so cool. It's got, it's got that 80s vibe. It's modern but retro at the same time. Does that make any sense at all? It's got a bit of a modern feel. Having the, the, the accent in the vocals just makes it sound a bit sort of Euro because... 
obviously, from Scandinavia. Um, but yeah, it's just got cool songs and great structure, some really classical build-ups. And uh, as Bubba says here, it sounds like George Martin mixed it. Incredible. Incredible. So that was one for Mark and our Canadian friends. My bad French. Throw out a bit of bad French every now and then because it's a bit of fun. Exactly. Another smooth Martin Hammer production. Great production values. Terrific song. Uh, absolutely. I uh, really like that. I really liked it too. So like a hit song from the 80s. Yeah, you could tell me that was on the Karate Kid soundtrack. And uh, I would say, yep, uh, I believe you. <laughs> totally. Let's uh, let's continue on though, because uh, as much as I would like to uh, wax lyrical about Martin Hammer all day, we got more tracks to get to here today. So let's move on. You know what a time it is? I think you know what time it is. Uh, now, QB sent me a couple of emails. Sorry, I've ruined it now. QB sent me a couple of emails during the week. And QB, I'm not sure. Uh, I've got a few in here. So you know what? I deleted all but this one. So I've no idea what track I'm about to play. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to play it. And we're going to see. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to have a, a, a bit of fun uh, with a QB track. This is, of course, QB the Penguin with Name This For Me. Ah, this is the one you said. Actually, yeah, this is the email that you said. I mentioned uh, my overwhelming idea folder earlier. This track is completely brand new. It features three drops and is over four minutes long, making it one of my longest songs given the tempo. I don't know what to call it yet. So here you go. Your job is to name this tune. So as we listen to this QB tune, you need to be listening and help QB name this tune. Uh, using the SoundCloud link? Yes, I, mean, I am using the SoundCloud link, I think. Uh, it's the one that you've put in the email. So let's hit play on this one and take a listen. QB, name this for me. had a, uh, a couple of suggestions already for naming this tune. We've got uh, Farts Are Funny. I like it. Uh, snowflakes in the Wind. Uh, keep, keep throwing them out there. I'll, I'll play another like couple of seconds here. Let's get some more song ideas. We've got some more here. The Crystal Palace, says Jade Star. Let's call it Anticipation. I see you shudder with anticip. Thanks for the fish. <laughs> I like it. Psych solution. Uh, what, did, what did Tom have? Uh, magical icicle playgrounds. Oh, very cool. Uh, what have we got here from Gerard? Uh, name suggestion. Happy hopping meth teacher. <laughs> I thought it said meth teacher. It said meth teacher. That's even cooler. Uh, I like to tinkle. International chaos. Uh, we've got to we've got to vote for farts are funny. <laughs> and yes, if you liked it, feel free to listen to the whole thing. Indeed, uh, do go away and listen to the whole thing, and uh, let us know if you have anything. Put put a comment down below. Say QB song name and this. Like after the show, if you're watching on the replay, especially, uh, put a comment. QB song name equals. And then give us a suggestion because uh, you can listen to the whole tune. In fact, I better put I better put it in the description. So name this for me is what we'll put here for now because it has no name. It's so fresh, it has no name. All right, we'll save that one in 
And we'll move on because I've seen the clock and I've seen the list of songs we have to go and uh, the, the equations just don't quite do it for me. So we're going we're gonna to continue on here and make sure that we can get through some more tunes. Uh, this is uh, Sick Skills and it says, Hi Pete, I wanted to uh, see if you could give my first rock song listen. I wrote it in front of a Subway restaurant while getting while picking up a sandwich. There you go. I'll be putting out a rock album soon. It's very special to me. Uh, like the previous song you play of mine, this is the first rock song I wrote. I made a beat and actually made it a professional song. It's a modern style with an old school vibe. And here is a YouTube video. You know, I like me some videos as long as YouTube plays ball and doesn't uh, cause any problems here. See, look, I hit pause and it says, no, nah, you're going to play. And it just keeps trying to play. And then I go back to the start and... Okay, this time it worked. Let's take a look. Oh, see, it just keeps playing. This is a Rock Girls Anthem. What I should do is just play it and not worry about any of that. Rock Girls Anthem from Sick Skills. Let's take a listen to it live on Your Music Live. <laughs> That was cool. That started and then it went and then it kept going. I do like that. I do dig that. Sometimes I like a song that kind of builds up. Sometimes it's just cool to, for a song that just kicks in and goes and just boom, boom, boom and just does its thing. So that's definitely what that one did. Uh, yeah, I like this one. Annie G says, like the laid back vocals. Great feel, nice rapping, great tune. Yeah, so I like that. Almost that rap rock kind of vibe with the do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, groovy as heck. Great work on the video too. Uh, and yeah, like the... Whoop, missed, missed that one. Like the uh, high gain Gibson Epiphone-esque guitar parts. Yeah, groovy. I believe it's groovy too, uh, Michael. So uh, thank you very much uh, for sharing that one. Another cool tune shared here on the channel. I, I know that sometimes I forget to uh, I forget to kind of give any other feedback, um, but uh, sometimes I just rock out to the song and that's good enough, yeah? If there's something that stands out, I'll say it. But uh, usually we're focusing on what is cool and what rocks here on the show. And that one definitely rocks. Uh, yeah, great tune. Could imagine seeing these guys at a live gig, kind of a baby shambles sound. Yeah, very nicely done. And uh, thank you for sharing our friend Six Skills there. Who I, I can't recall exactly what your last track was, but I remember the name and I remember that, uh, that I dug it. So... Uh, Thank you for that. How are we doing? We're getting there. All right. I don't want it to be a race here because I want us to have some fun and enjoy this and uh, give these tracks a decent uh, decent listen. But uh, yeah, we do need to move on. I'm just basically trying to prove to myself that I shouldn't be waffling on here. I should be getting to our next track. And our next track is from someone that we heard from recently. And I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Randy. Uh, this is Randy Motts. Uh, and this is a track, uh, Wind, Wind, Ta Wind Talker Music is Randy's uh, Randy's artist name this is a track called ethereal and uh, this is from an album that uh, from his new cd awakening and the cd debuted at number one uh, in october on the one world music radio top 100 album charts which is quite exciting indeed i love it when uh, folks who are like supporters of the channel here do good things and and get uh, get kudos it's good karma for folks that are uh, good people that share their music that do things the right way uh yeah I, I like when good things happen to good people let's just say that so uh let's uh, take a listen to this this is randy wind talker music with a, a very soothing track here called ethereal let's play it here on your music 
live. Just beautiful stuff, isn't it? Our friend Randy, peaceful music, absolutely great use of space and melody. Agree, very zen. I know. I, I, I too could listen to this all evening. I uh, I have listened to to Randy's album, and yeah, it, it is like this. Again, I've I've said this before, but I like music that I can just put on and have as ambient background that just makes me feel relaxed. And especially when I'm doing things like emails and paperwork and all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, I love that sort of ambient style. Some restraint. Yeah, something that's just yeah, you know that it could it could just be. It's, yeah, I don't know. It's hard, hard to say, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, cool track. Uh, sounds like it could be used in a film soundtrack. Absolutely. So uh, good things happening to good people. And Randy is a good guy. And uh, and I think, uh, Randy, correct me if I'm wrong. I think you create your music. Uh, you, you're in an RV and you're touring around. And uh, yeah, you do it on the go. So you are truly a mobile creator. For sure. Uh, so that one, again, as all these tracks are, is saved down in the description uh, if you want to go and check it out. Uh, righty Uh, You know our friend Bubba? You know our friend Bubba who uh, contributes to the channel, who is uh, very much uh, one of the members of the community here, who uh, throws super chats my way most weekends, who uh, is just an amazing supporter. Well, he's also an outstanding musician, and uh, I've heard a lot of Bubba's stuff. I'm not sure we've ever heard one of Bubba's songs on this show. Correct me if I'm wrong, Bubba, but uh, I've definitely heard a lot of your music and really dig it. Some uh, really interesting compositions that you put together, and this one is no exception. I did cheat and already had a listen to it. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist hitting the play button on this one and taking a listen already. But let's jump over and take a listen to a tune from our very own Bubba here. This one is called My New Star, and we're going to listen to it live here on Your Music Live. Bubba with My New Star.
throwing it away. Kicking butt, taking names. Bubba here on Your Music Live. And now that you know, now the secret's out, now you know BBM underscore 14 is our very own Bubba. You can go and listen to all of his tunes. This slaps. Indeed, it does. I think that says it all there from Dan. Damn, just damn. Yeah, love me some twangin' acoustic. So, uh, yeah, do go and check out. Uh, Bubba's got quite a few little ditties and arrangements and bits and pieces of songs. So much cool stuff. Uh, you will spend you will spend a long time just uh, wading through. Assuming it's all still up there, Bubba. But uh, thank you. Thank you for sharing and thank you for all of the support and love that you bring here to the channel. So I appreciate you there. Magical indeed. Nice. Soundtrack. Yeah, soundtrack. Should be for like a uh, like a, a an 80s cop um, country ja drama. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, nice mix, nice guitar playing in the intro since to Back to the String. Yeah, it just, it did. It took you on a journey. It started and then it went through the middle and then it came on back again. Uh, very, very cool. <laughs> the beginning sounds like Flea got hold of all the instruments. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. It did have a little, it was almost slap acoustic. You can just imagine. Anyway, uh, thank you, Bubba. Do appreciate everything you do here around the channel. So I wanted to give that one. It was only two minutes, so we gave the full thing a full play there. Righty dokey. Uh, now, where was I? I've lost my place here. Ah, yes, here we go. Now, we had a few tracks come through from uh, from our friends Dan and Micah, who are, uh, of course, Autism Rocks. And uh, we've got one here, a new song called Catawampus. And this song is a, a fun song, getting a lot of positive feedback. Video was, reco uh, was recorded entirely on Mac, music on GarageBand, video on iMovie, Micah on vocals, Dad on guitar and bass. Drums programmed in GarageBand, and Micah did his vocals with the good old Blue Yeti microphone. Let's, uh, let's bring this one up and get... Some jazz hands going for the positive autism, autism rocks. This is Dan and Micah, and we're going to give this one a spin uh, once YouTube plays nicely. There we go. We'll turn up the volume, pump up the volume, as Christian Slater may say, and give this one a listen. Let's get those uh, jazz hands going, shall we? For like Dan and Micah, subscribe the positive autism. Do it on your music live. Why do I get the feeling that I'm going to be walking around all day just going catawampus? <laughs> Absolutely a fun sound and tune. I was grooving on that one. 
as you could see. Uh, very nicely done again from Dan and Micah there. Uh, yeah, love the groove, man. Autism does indeed rock. Uh, we've got Lady Rodeline dancing around the lounge. And uh, Gerard says, you guys must have so much fun creating this. Yeah, absolutely. An inspiration. I'm like, oh, man, uh, I need to uh, go and create more music with my kids because they're, they're into the music. But uh, sometimes it's hard to have the, the patience to do that. So, Dan, you are a saint. Uh, you do amazing work there. Micah, you rock the uh, you rock the lyrics there, my friend. So uh, thank you both for sharing the good work that you do there. Uh, oh, yeah. Bam. Absolutely. And you are welcome. Thank you for your contribution. And yeah, the songs the songs do get better and better. I've been uh, I've been going through the back catalog, and uh, you guys are, are improving as well. And it just goes to show, like you can, the more you do, the better you get, right? Just create, record, release, repeat, and uh, yeah, you, you continue to find out what works, what doesn't work, what you want to add, what you want to remove, and then your music just improves. And uh, you're doing some good work over there, my friends. So thank you. Let's uh, let's continue on here. Uh, I think I did this last time, didn't I, Ron? Didn't I go? Didn't I go positive autism into happy Ron, or maybe I went happy Ron into positive autisms? Uh, so yeah, it, whichever way it was, we're going to play a uh, a brand new song, a world premiere. Ron tells me of a happy Ron. He says uh, he sent me this. He said even the hardest brand new song, world premiere on the Pete Johns show. I don't think it's, uh, should I call it The Pete Johns Show? That that sounds, I don't think I'd ever have a show called The Pete Johns Show because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, 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 yeah, I'm uncomfortable with that level of, uh, of self, even though the channel is called Pete Johns. So go figure. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm talking out of my butt, but let's, uh, let's play some Happy Ron, shall we? Uh, Happy Ron uh, is uh, someone we played probably a few tracks, probably four or five tracks over the over the course of this show, and uh, always brings the fun, always brings the brings the funk and the country vibe to the show. So uh, let's turn this one up. An instrumental, apparently, and uh, look, you can see you can see how exclusive it is final demo four. Who else? Hands up who's got songs called Final Demo 1. Then it's like Final Demo 2. And then it's like Absolutely Final Demo this time. And then it's like Final Master, I hope. And then it's like, oh, Final 1, but I just tweaked a thing. Anyway, let's take a listen to this one. This is Happy Ron, even the hardest part here on Your Music Live. Everyone heads out to find their path In a life so full of storms But we're not so tough that we've outgrown The road that leads us back home Even the hardest heart Will sometimes skip a beat when the world turns right side up And everything seems at peace And the smallest crack can start To let in a little spark Even in the hardest We try to stay the same until we see All our children need us to do And the truth shines bright in their eyes We must grow so they can too Even the hardest heart Will sometimes give a feed when the world turns right side up And everything seems at peace And the smallest crack can start To let in a little spark Even in the hardest heart No, 
I hate turning down solos. Or maybe I don't. No, I really do. Uh, but you're going to have to go and listen to the rest of the song. That's the whole idea here, right? We give you a taste. The, the, the first taste is free. No, that's creepy. Um, that is, of course, the one, the only Happy Ron. And uh, his tune called Even the Hardest Part. And the reason I'm pausing for time is that even the hardest heart. <laughs> <laughs> really cool, really nice, really meaningful song. Really enjoyed that one. And uh, I realized that I need to uh, to update the last clip as well. Oh, man, I'm, I'm not doing well here with this stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to do two things at once and it's not something that I can do. I should know this myself that I can't listen to music and do it. So as I've always said I'm like I need I need a producer. Speaking of my children, I need to pay my producer my children to come in and produce my stream. <laughs> All righty. Uh let's uh let's come over here and see what other folks. Yeah, always great fun. A happy Ron tune uh to, for sure uh such beauty and sincerity and uh, Jade says I adore Ron's music. Always positive and real. Very good feel and good lyrics and a beautiful track. Lady Rodline says, my kind of music. Awesome. Absolutely. Really like this one. Well done. Happy Ron. Absolutely. Sounds like Neil Young singing an octave lower, beautiful sound. Yeah, it's got, it's got a bit of a Neil Young vibe, uh, our, our friend Happy Ron. Uh, so yeah, you are going to have to go and take a listen to the full tune yourself. But there you go. Brand new Happy Ron. And sorry, I'm also going to stall for time because I've just realized I didn't put the link to Catawampus. So that's going in there as well. And we'll save that one in. All right, we're back on track. How are we going on time? We've got about 20 minutes left in the show. Hope you're enjoying it. If you're getting some value, having some fun don't do that. I was gonna <laughs> hit the like button, but it's down there. I'm like, go down and hit the, uh-oh. Actually, as, as my friend Mike over at Creative Source says, uh, uh, it, give it a thumbs up, or if you don't like it, hit the thumbs down twice, because that removes it. Anyway, let's continue on. Where were we up to? Oh, we're all over the place tonight. I thought I would be better. Uh, Michael, the band. I've seen you here in the chat today. You've got some slaps action going on. Uh, he has a statement to make. Corn on the cob cooked on a barbecue is a taste beyond words. This tune has nothing to do with this vegetable, only that it was created soon after devouring three cobs of corn at a barbecue. And can I just say, I agree with you 100%. You speak the truth here, my friend. Corn on the cob on the barbecue can't go wrong. When I first read that, I thought you said with barbecue sauce. And I'm like, mm, that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, corn on the cob... On the barbecue, I agree. That flame grilled corn on the cob where it just goes a little bit blackened. My goodness, perfection. Anyway, this has nothing to do with that. This is Michael, our friend, Triple Z, Triple Z band. Never know how to say your name. Let's give this one a listen here. This is called uh, Corn on the Cob here on Your Music Live. Funky old good time eating some corn on the cob. Who's hungry now? Yeah, I'm hungry too, Sion. Wow, that was uh, that was some nice, nice tune. Uh, very nicely done. Um, and yeah, if you want to hear the whole thing, uh, I know it was only two minutes long. You're like, it was two minutes thirty five, Pete. You didn't have to stop it, or did I? Uh, but no, thank you. That was uh, that was Michael. Michael. Z -z -z. One day you'll have to just tell me how do I actually say the name. Z -z -z Land Band. I think you have told me before. I just never listen. I never listen. Um, uh, that was called Corn on the Cob. Of course it was. <laughs> Corn on the Cob. 
totally thinking about barbecuing some corn on the cob now. Anyway, we're going to uh, save that one. I don't own a barbecue anymore. My barbecue rusted and I had to throw it away because that's information that's important that you need to know. Uh, yeah, this is uh, <laughs> nicely done. This is popping like corn. Yeah, as soon as I hit the play button on this one, I just wanted to go, din, 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 din. oh yeah, here comes that funky beat. Zealand, yeah, so you've told me that before, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, very cool. Very nicely done. Nice work. Zealand will do that. Grilled corn is the best. Yeah, I suppose you'd call it grilled corn, wouldn't you? You'd call it grilled corn. Excuse me a moment while I block a user. Goodbye. Um, let's uh, move on from here. Uh, nice. Yep, great track, Michael. Agree that. Uh, I wonder if I've said a one-minute song if people play it all. I think I have done that. I've been surprised before where a song finishes and then I'm like, oh, now I have to just stop. Anyway. Uh, very well done, very nicely done, and that will be down in lay description if you would like to do it. If you would like to check out the whole tune and check out all of the tunes that we've played here today, because all of the artists I have, I know, I, I do, I say the same thing every week, but I just don't come across songs that I don't like and go figure. Um, because again, I like the passion and I like the fact that people are going to the effort of doing it. And look, we're not here to give our eighth place trophies and be that whole new age, like you're all winners. But when it comes to music, it doesn't have to be win and lose. Like there's, there's some things in life that it does have to be win and lose. I get that. Music isn't one of them. This is why I dislike reality music shows. People are like, you must, you do this show, you must be all about the voice and got talent and what are those other ones? The blind singer, the masked singer, the dead singer. I'm pretty sure there's a new one where they go back and dig up old... Si no, that's not true. That's not a thing. Uh, I'm trying to bring this one up. This is Jerry Foreman. Uh, Jerry sent me an email saying... Uh, and this is what Jerry had to say. I wrote Average Guy about 20 years ago. Uh, not today. Uh, while on a plane going somewhere... I read the news about Enron over a guy's shoulder in front of me. I turned and the guy across the aisle was reading his paper about WorldCom. <laughs> if you aren't familiar with these two corporations, yeah, then uh, that was the tip of the financial iceberg. Yes, go, go look that up if you don't know. So let's, uh, let's listen to this tune. This is uh, our friend Jerry, and this is a tune called Average Guy. I'm going to take our first listen to it here on Your Music Live. Just an average guy I don't make a ton of money I got a wife and two kids Sometimes I laugh and nothing's funny There's one thing I just can't understand How come some clown with 20 billion in a bag Has got a steal from the average guy trucks and teaching school my best friend Larry was fighting fires till they took his life at age 33 when I hear all this bullshit on TV they straight up lie and say well it wasn't my floor no 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 there's so much feeling from the average guy Driven daily to the hearings in his Bentley. He tightens up that silk tie. He pleads the Fifth Amendment. Backstage, the senators laugh. When the cameras roll, they're snarling. Everybody knows no one's gonna pay. No one's gonna pay. Very cool tune there from Jerry Foreman with Average Guy. Nicely done. Solid composition. Uh, very cool tune. Uh, very cool topic. And yeah, it was, it was funny when um, when you said at the start there, oh yeah, like 20 years ago, I, I wrote this song sitting on an airplane doing this thing. I'm like, oh, 20 years ago. So it's like old, like 80s style. And I'm like, wait a minute, 20 years ago was the year 2000. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyone feeling old right now when you go 20 years ago, it was the year 2000. Uh, yeah, like a more honest, honest Jimmy Barnes. Yeah, a bit, a bit Elvis Costello in the phrasing. Uh, cool track, like the keys and the vocals. Yeah, it did have that sort of, yeah. I think that's why I thought 80s, because it had a little bit of an 80s rock vibe, a little bit of a John Mellencamp kind of feel to it uh, with the keys and the guitars in there. And there you go, an average guy who writes uh, above average songs. But here's the good thing. This was 20 years ago when, you know, big companies and billionaires actually didn't respect people and stole their money and didn't support people. Let's move on to our next track because uh, we've got more to get through and it's all about the music. But Jerry, thank you for that. And Jerry, you did email that to me like a couple of weeks ago and then... Yeah, I, I missed it. Oh, no, that's right. It didn't have the link in it. So you were like, hey, Pete, did you play my song? Can you play it? And I'm like, oh, you didn't have a link, dude. And then you sent me the link. And I'm glad you did because that was a cool tune. And uh, thanks for sharing it. Kev Hart, I'm sure I've seen you here in the chat or at least earlier on, uh, said, short, short, short. Thought I would share for consideration on the show. All recorded in GarageBand iOS. It's a heavy tune. Jade, get ready. It's a heavy tune. Hope you enjoy. And this is from Kev Hart. It's on Slaps. I'm sure it will slap, so let's uh, bring it up and give it a play and see how hard it slaps from our friend Kev Hart here on Your Music Live. Let's do it. Am I right? <laughs> now that's some thrash. Those drums are in GarageBand iOS. Yeah, I mean, that's some, that's some good drums, good guitars, good vocals. Some classic thrash metal there from our buddy Kev Hart. Beautifully done. Very well uh, put together. Jumping around, says Gerard. Uh, yeah, head banging time. I know, we've, we've run the gamut. We've had Frank Sinatra to Kev Hart just like melting our faces with his guitar. So uh, yeah, everything in between. How cool was that? Really enjoyed that one, Kev. And uh, thank you for sharing. And uh, we'll just jump over and make sure that that is here. Again, that's a Slaps link. I've got to get back into Slaps. Um, I'm doing... This month, I've got a, it's DistroKid month. So we've got uh, DistroKid on board as a sponsor um, of the channel, which is very kind of them. So we're doing four different videos. So maybe one of those videos, I have to do a, a special slaps, slap special. Actually, yeah, I'm just thinking about that. I'm like, maybe I should reach out to DistroKid and say, if I play music only on slaps, will DistroKid sponsor your music live each week? Hmm, there you go. There's an idea. Um, or, or StreamYard, who I use to stream it. There you go. See, Pete, I've, I've got to get my marketing brain into gear. <laughs> I'm too busy with the music to think about uh, running my channel, but that's okay. Um, yeah, thank you very much for that, Kev. Enjoyed it. Rocking out. Uh, here's Fr Frizzy says, uh, rockin' love it, old school trash or thrash. Either way, 
<laughs> yeah, those uh, guitars are straight off Master of Puppets. Great thrash metal. 100%. Let's go because we've got a few more tracks to get through and we are going to run late here today. That's okay. I've got enough voice this weekend. I've got energy this weekend. So uh, we're going to get through. Now, we've played that one. Okay, we've played a few of these. We may just fall short on getting every song played. A few may have to hold over to next week, but we, uh, we'll get close. We'll go close today, won't we? Let's move on. Pete, stop filling time by saying how behind we are. So are you like a talk show host? Did you ever, did you watch like old talk shows where they're like, oh, do we got time? Actually, Jerry Seinfeld did a comedy bit. He's like, talk show hosts are always running out of time. They're like, do we have time? What's the time? We got any time left? It's like, you know, get a watch. Uh, anyway, let's move on and play Temple of the Martyrs. Speaking of a band that we have played before uh, that does some pretty nice rock and roll tunes, Temple of the Martyrs says, hey, Pete, how are you? I'm well. Thank you for asking. Here's another tune. I hope you like it. Thanks for the support. Very much appreciated. No, thank you, my friend, because uh, we're going to hit play on this one. This is a tune called Not Looking for a War. This is Temple of Temple Dos Martyrs here on your Music Live. Once again, very cool from Templo Dos Martes here. Uh, has he sampled me? I don't think so. <laughs> Not that I recall, but it's definitely the sort of music I dig and the sort of music that I like to play as well. Very nice type production, I know. Um, I, I don't know what it is, but lately, people's production, like the, I, when we first started doing this show, I spent a lot of time saying, oh, this bit you could probably tighten up here. Maybe you could do some compression here. Maybe you could do some... I'm not having to say much of that anymore because I'm just digging the tunes, which is not helping folks, I realise. Um, the only thing I'd say there is that the vocals, and look, it's the style of the music, maybe the vocals are a little bit buried in the mix. You might want to give those a little bit of compression, maybe a little EQ in the top end to brighten them up just a touch to pull them up into the mix. But uh, apart from that, man, that was really, really cool. Very nice. Love this. Whoop. Uh, Miss, Miss Danny. Uh, love this track. Uh, Tom says uh, they tagged it. Echo and the Bunny Men. Can definitely hear that influence. Very cool. Uh, yeah. That's, it's cool when you can see what uh, what people have tagged things. And uh, yeah, b b good tune. A bit of a Cure vibe. Yeah, a bit of a Cure vibe. A bit of that dark kind of, um, not, not emo. What did we call it back in the day? Uh, you weren't emo. What were you? Goth, a bit of goth, goth rock going on there. A bit of that uh, that down style, but uh, very cool. And uh, yeah, I've, I've listened to quite a few tracks from Templa, Templo Dos Martes, and they do good stuff. So uh, again, if that's your scene, if you dig it, head on over and check it out. All of the songs that I've played here on the show today are linked down in La Description. Pete's back with the bad French. So where were we up to? We played Temple. We played that one. We played that one. Ah, uh, here we go. We we haven't played this one. Let's uh, let's give this a spin. This is uh, this is our buddy Russ. Russ is back and he's not happy. No, I, I think he's happy. It's okay. What's that one? Is that from like the Terminator or something? He's back and he's not happy. Is that Terminator 2 ad from back in the day? I don't know. Uh, alrighty, let's go on. Here we go. 
Russ is going to bring us. Uh, Russ is going to bring us uh, back to the '80s here. I'm assuming we've got a track here. Uh, Russ says, "Hopefully you're very well. Hopefully you're very well this time." I am. I'm going swimmingly. I thought I'd hit you with a track done in lockdown. I had to go up making something '80s inspired, as I love the music that came from the '80s. As do I. It's called '80s Haircut. Thank you, my friend. No, thank you, my friend, uh, because uh, you produce some cool stuff, and I can't wait to listen to this one, because there you go. You got your breakfast club. They're ready to go. So we got some 80s haircut. My 80s haircut, by the way, was not very 80s at all, because I was only a child, but it was pretty bad from memory. Uh, it was just kind of punk, a mop on my head. I never had a good 80s I had a good 90s haircut. I had the Eddie Vedder slightly wavy long uh, locks of Eddie Vedder. So anyway, uh, it's not about me. It's about uh, Russ. So let's hit play on this one. 80s haircut from Russ here on your Music Live. I danced in the 80s like this. People have uh, criticized me that when I listen to music, all I do is this. I bob my head and occasionally I'll do that. So uh, I've decided I've got to shift up the moves and go with something like this. How cool was that? Yes. Synth wave. Love it. Love the bridge. Take it to the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had a G if you played a lot of Grand Theft Auto GTA, if you played Vice City, that would be right at home in a uh, in the Vice City soundtrack. Lady Rodeline loves it. The Breakfast Club. Yeah, right. Uh, excellent. True 80s vibe. Great track. St. Elmo's. Yeah. St. Elmo's Fire. That was one of my uh, sister's favorite movies back in the days. Uh, was that the one that had did that have the uh, that song that saxophone song what was that called Baker Street I think that had Baker Street great stuff Vice City vibes indeed very nice uh, good stuff uh, definitely definitely hit that eighties vibe straight on excellent good stuff thank you Russ and thank you to everyone who shared tonight. I know, I know when I say things like that, people are like, oh, it means we're coming to an end. Well, we are, we're coming to an end, but we've got, uh, can we sneak one under the bar? I think we can. Let me just go back to my list here uh, and make sure that we put Russ's track in because we haven't. So that was our buddy, Russ. And we found that 8889, the Russ, the 8889 in Russ's uh, artist name is because that's when he started creating music. So uh, he knows about the 80s because he started creating music in the 80s. Uh, unlike me, who was only uh, a maximum of 11 in the 80s. So now you know when I was born. There you go. Uh, but yeah, we are going to have to, uh, we're going to have to end pretty soon because we're over the two hour mark and I turn into a pumpkin pretty soon after that. But uh, I wanted to play, uh, play this tune. So someone who's been uh, hanging around the channel, that makes it sound bad, but has been around the channel for uh, for a few weeks, a couple of months now, I think, uh, and uh, has shared some of her music and shared it early on and said, Pete, do you play covers? And I said, oh, not really, but maybe one day. And then uh, I reached out and said, hey, s send me your covers. We want to play some covers on the tune on the show here. And we've already played a Frank Sinatra cover. So I thought uh, I would play one of the covers from 
LRS. This is Lady Rodeline. Now, is it Strata or Straight? Lady Rodeline, Straight or Strata? You'll have to tell me in the chat if you're still here with us. But we are going to play a cover song of a song that I always love. It's an old standard. And uh, yeah, br bring on the copyright claims again because we'll probably get claimed on a few times on this video. But that's okay. Let's, uh, let's finish off with this one. This will be our last track for the night. Straight. There you go. It is Lady Rodeline, Straight. Uh, so this is our last track of the night. We're going to take us out uh, with this one. And then we'll be back just after this, just for a little closing statements. But Lady Rodeline Straight with Fever here on Your Music Live. Never know how much I care When you put your arms around me I get a fever that's so hard to bear You give me fever When you kiss me Fever when you hold me tight Fever In the morning Fever all through the night Sun lights up the daytime, moon lights up the night I light up when you call my name And you know I'm gonna treat you right You give me fever When you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight Fever in the morning, fever all through the night Everybody's got the fever And this is something you all know Everybody's got the fever And that's just a little small taste of what you can expect if you go and check out Lady Rodeline Straight. Now that I know that that's uh, the pronunciation there. There you go. Uh, that will be linked down in the description along with all of the other ones. Yeah, really cool voice. Really nicely done. I would so love to be sitting in a wine bar right now. <laughs> Remember those? <laughs> Sipping on a gl nice glass of wine with a nice jazz combo and uh, Lady Rodeline up front uh, singing some nice jazz tunes like that very nice indeed let's just see what folks have to say we'll dodge the folks saying uh, random other things so yeah very nice voice so happy we got to hear you finally absolutely very nice indeed uh yes a killer voice exactly I love it. Love it a lot. Um, so we are going to have to wind down there. I know, but uh, do not worry because we'll be back. Not only will we be back next week with another episode of Your Music Live, same bat time, same bat channel, but uh, we've got a heap of stuff happening this weekend. Let's just give you a quick rundown of what's happening here on the channel this weekend. So tomorrow... We have the usual home studio Q&A. So if you want to know the behind the scenes stuff of how folks create music, if you've got questions about creating music in your home studio, you want to be part of the audience that provides all the information and the community because, hey, it's not just me. I get a lot of help. I get some assists from the folks here in the community when it comes to knowing the answers to all the questions. Join us tomorrow for home studio Q&A. We've then got something very special. We've got the world premiere of Gary Hub's new tune, a cover of the Vanilla ice classic ice ice baby that's coming up straight after home studio q a and then a live interview with gary he was on jade's channel yesterday talking about his video production and his music and he'll be on the channel here tomorrow talking about that we then have i'll be doing some music i'll be uh, singing along to my uh, my 2018 album, Selfish Aware. We're going to do it pretty much end-to-end, -end, uh, and I've got a few surprises and a few different things in there for you as well. So that'll be the happy hour show. And then join us on Monday, where we've got another two videos. We've got GarageBand Weekly. If you're a GarageBand user, you'll find out all the things you need to know about GarageBand. And we've got a new Apple announcement coming up very soon to talk about. So that'll be talked about on that show as well. And then we're rounding out the weekend with another DistroKid video. This time, my, fi my simple 
five point checklist. If you're releasing your own music, you'll want to check this one out. That'll be premiering straight after GarageBand users, GarageBand Weekly. So uh, yes, yeah, so much going on here on the channel, such a big weekend. But if you want to find out everything that's going on, head over to studiolivetoday.com. From there, you can link to the YouTube channel. You can check me out on Facebook. You can support me on Patreon if you want to uh, get some exclusive stuff. I'll be doing a bit of a sound check, uh, which I'll probably share with my Patreon friends if you want to get a sneak peek into the happy hour. So uh, check that one out. And you can support me here on the channel through PayPal and through live uh, live super chats that uh, the wonderful folks like Bubba and Wingy have done here. Also join the mailing list. That way you'll get up-to-date information on everything that's been going on. Did you have fun tonight? I think I had fun. Uh, as uh, as Jared said, dear, the show was fun again. We had a good time. Well, thank you. If you did have a good time, hit the like button. That just tells me and the YouTube gremlins that uh, you liked the show and that I should keep doing it and you'll come back and watch it. Now, jump on over to uh, to Jay's interview with Gary Hubs from yesterday. She's uh, uh, got the link down there. So, uh, or just go to her channel, search Jade Star and find out about uh, what Gary's been working on. That is going to do it for us here on this one. Thank you so much for being here. Remember what we always say. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and keep on creating. Thanks, folks. I'll see you real